Sexual signals are widespread in the animal kingdom and play well-known and important roles in mate choice and speciation. But how do new ones arise? By definition, new variants are rare when they first appear in a population. That makes them susceptible to loss due to shift or selection imposed by female preferences. We did a study that suggests a way out of this conundrum. Our work focused on a population of the Hawaiian field cricket, Tidigulus oceanicus. Normally, male crickets sing to call females by lifting their specialized wings and rubbing them together. But in Hawaii, their song also hastens their demise by drawing the attention of an eavesdropping parasitoid fly, Omia. Ocrisia. Female flies locate the cells of male sun and shoot parasitic larvae onto nearby crickets. Fly larvae infest crickets and eat them from inside out. About a week to 10 days later, they emerge to pupate. They live behind the husk of the dead cricket. Under strong selection pressure exerted by the flies, male crickets' acoustic signals have shifted over the last two decades via genetically determined wing palamorphism. In 2017, we documented the first appearance of crickets with unusually tiny wings in a population on the big island of Hawaii. We creatively named this new phenotype small wing. Both sexes are affected by the street, which is genetically inherited, and both ancestral long wing and derived small wing crickets co-occur in the same population. We found that most small wing males sing at a far lower amplitude, and about an eighth of them cannot produce any sound at all. Because of that, they are less likely to attract the parasitoid fly. But, much to our surprise, small wing males that can produce audible sounds make new and very different signals. In particular, the frequency or pitch of their courtship song is shifted well above the normal range of about 5 kHz. Small emails mostly sing at a much higher frequencies of 6 or 7 kHz. This difference is even greater than what we often observe distinguishing different species of cricket, and yet they all coexist and breed together in the same population. So, what happens when a cricket learns a new instrument? Most evolutionary biologists would probably predict females should discriminate against the novel small wing sound. But that's not at all what we found. Unexpectedly, Females loved small wing males. If a male made any sound at all during courtship, it didn't matter if he belted out a nice normal courtship ensume or squeaked out a high pitched version. Females mounted them and mated with them, all the same. So, what do we take from this? In Hawaiian crickets, the emergence of small wing males appears to have been promoted by surprisingly untruthy. Or permissive females. This raises the intriguing prospect that females could be more permissive of novel signals than widely appreciated, and it can help answer a major question in evolutionary biology, which is how can novel male signals emerge and spread when females should favor the more common ancestral signal? The answer might be maybe they don't.